Hi, welcome to Intro to Computer Games and Simulations at Lorain County Community College. I'm Mike Substelny, the instructor this term. I'm here to give you a quick tour of how the course is going to look within the ANGEL system. Um, you can see when you enter the course in initially, you will be on the Course tab, where you can get a summary of your grades, and you can see announcements, like the video you're watching right now appears as an announcement, and a little welcome message is showing up there, and there will be announcements throughout the semester. You can see any news I post will be there. The course calendar uh, shows up in summary. This is all the stuff that's going on this week. Things are assigned and things that are due. And there's an access to the mail system. Um, I'll show you another way to get to the mail system in a few minutes. Clicking on the next tab, the Syllabus Resources tab, this will allow you to get to some resources I've made available, including the course syllabus. If you click the course syllabus, you'll see a very important document. You must read this document and learn what's on the syllabus to take a quiz before you'll be able to get to any of the points stuff, any of the learning stuff that takes place in the lessons tab. You can't earn any points in this class until you've passed a quiz on the syllabus. So getting off of the syllabus now, we'll go to the calendar, a handy place to see what's happening in the class. Again, you can see there's stuff assigned on Monday, January 9th, and those things are due on Tuesday, January 17th. So I've got eight days to do most things in this class assigned on Mondays and do on the following Tuesdays, except for I've got uh, quizzes that are assigned on Fridays and due on Monday. So you can do it all day Friday, anytime over the weekend, and anytime Monday up until 11.55 p.m. at night for the quizzes. Another way to see this stuff is to open the guide over here. If I click those little chevrons and I click Tasks, um, I can see that I've got these milestones, I've got some personal tasks to do. Any milestones, anything that's going on this week, you can find uh, a link to get right to it um, from here. Uh, the other way to get to it, let's close that guide again. If I go under Lessons, this is where I do my learning, you'll see immediately you don't have a lot of stuff available to you in Lessons. That's because it's all hidden. You can't get to it until you've passed the Angel Syllabus Quiz. So I've already started the Angel Syllabus quiz conveniently. I'm going to click on it now, get back into it, and click Resume on my 15-minute uh, limit. I currently have, uh, let's see, how much time do I leave myself? <clears throat> Ten minutes, so five minutes passed since I left here. Um, yes, if you're taking a quiz in Angel and you leave, the clock continues to run while you're gone, and the clock will run out. So I've just showed you, as I scroll by all the answers to all the questions on this quiz, um, I'm going to answer the very last question. Um, what does it mean if I see the following on the Angel login screen? It means that my computer is not accepting pop-ups from Angel. I need to set my browser security software, media players, toolbars, and other programs to allow pop-ups from Angel. D is the correct answer. I click Submit. Let's see what happens. It says you are about to submit this assessment. Are you sure you want to proceed? Congratulations, you have successfully answered all the questions. I got 100%. You've got to do this over and over again until you get 100%. So I click OK, and I can click here to continue. And there I see all the answers that I got correct. If I go back under Lessons now, um, I can any unsaved changes. There's, now all kinds of new stuff is available to me. Now it's all visible, including Week 1, so you want to be a game designer. I click on Week 1. And you can see all that stuff that I have to do this week. They introduce yourself here, game design workshop, chapter one, homework assignment, a factory floor plan simulation I have to play, a discussion forum related to it where I have to trash talk my classmates and how I'm better at it than they are, and et cetera, et cetera. This is all the stuff you've got to do in week one. Again, you can also see that by clicking on those chevrons there and using the guide um, under tasks. Next thing we're going to look at is the communicate tab. The Communicate tab is where I can get to uh, I can get to some discussion forums, but the main thing I'm going to show you is your course mail. If I click on the inbox, I can see if I've got any mail messages. I don't. So let's compose a message. I can send a message to the instructor of the class, me. You can't send messages to anyone else. Uh, the way you do that is you click to. As soon as the box is ready. Click to, and I will search for, well, if I go to all members, the only thing I can select is all course faculty. That's me. That's the only thing you can do in this class, select all course faculty 
two and OK. Um, I'll say hi, I am excited to be in this class. And I'm just sending a mail message just to show you how to do it. I click send. Oh, I need to enter a subject, sorry. I'll just call the subject hello, and I'll hit send. And that will send the message. I can look in my sent messages here. Um, I don't have any sent messages. All right. Uh, I guess I don't have any sent messages right now. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go on to the report tab where you can get a detailed look at your grades. And there's another way to do that under lessons too. If I click, instead of uh, Learner Profile, I select Grades, and I select Student Grades for myself and click Run, I will see my scores in assignments in this class. <clears throat> Most assignments are not done. I have zeros in just about everything right now, except if I get to the bottom um, in non-credit assignments. So that's a way I can check my grades. I can do it also under Lessons. There's this thing called My Scores under Lessons that takes me to that same report in one click. Right now I've got an A in the class, although I haven't really done anything. Uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to cover in this little video. Uh, welcome to the class. I look forward to seeing you in the classrooms. And this should help you work in the ANGEL system. Good luck, and I hope you all get A's.